Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going to learn how to configure management data warehouse in SQL Server. When we talk about a management data warehouse in SQL Server, we're basically talking about the management tab in SQL Server instance in SQL Server 2008, SQL Server 2012, and 2014 provide us a way to collect the data on SQL Server, such as performance-related data, I/O operation, memory, CPU usage, transaction per second. What we can do with that data, we can basically collect that data uh, through a data collector, which I will, uh, we will configure it in next demo, uh, and put it in a data warehouse. And after that, once we put that in the data warehouse, we can run reports and find out how uh, our in SQL Server instance or instances are doing. So basically, uh, in order to configure management data warehouse, you need to uh, conf well, first create a data warehouse house uh, database on uh, any SQL server where you would like to put your data warehouse so um, we need to create the database after that you create the database you configure that uh, database for your uh, management data warehouse and once you do that then we can go ahead and use that in our data collector which I'll show you in a second again and uh, use that to capture all the data uh, performance related data or other data that we wanted to capture on particular SQL Server instance. So let's go ahead and this is uh, my SQL Server. I do have um, two instances. One is on Tech Brothers client server, uh, which is SQL Mirror is my instance, and other is uh, Tech Brothers SQL and SQL Production is uh, another instance on another server. What I want to do in order to configure our um, uh, data warehouse we need to config create a database uh, data warehouse uh, data warehouse database somewhere where we wanted to put our database so I decided that I will go ahead and uh, configure and create my database data warehouse on TBS client SQL mirror and I will collect all the data from SQL Server production and put it in that database keep in mind that you don't have to uh, select two servers but best practices is that you do want it uh, if you are using a particular SQL Server instance for your data warehouse you should have a separate instance for that because that is going to be a lot of read and write a lot, lot of IO operation on that you don't want the same production server basically to use as your data warehouse uh, uh, database so um, I wouldn't recommend to have the same server hosting your data warehouse uh, database so that's why I'm going to go ahead and uh, basically um, uh, use these two servers so I'm going to use a TBS client SQL mirror to create a, a data warehouse so right here I have created a performance data warehouse I just created a da database Called performance data warehouse and now I'm going to configure this performance data warehouse as my uh, data warehouse so it this needs to be configured before you can use it in collector so basically first when you create a database it's a normal database once you configure that normal database into a management data warehouse then it becomes a management data warehouse so how we do that that's what we're gonna learn in this particular video so we're gonna go ahead and um, go in management and up here you will see the data collector right here uh, what we need to do right now is right click on the data warehouse uh, I mean data collector and then configure management data warehouse so if you if you click on that and click next and then you have an option if you're configuring on a, on the same instance uh, then it'll pick up the instance and then uh, the data warehouse uh, the database that you wanted to act as data warehouse you need to select that in my case I'm going to go ahead and use performance data warehouse so I'm going to click next so next uh, um, in next screen you need to select uh, uh, basically a login that uh, who will basically manage this database so if we if we collect right here I'm going to use uh, Tech Brothers or we can go ahead and use uh, Kevin Scott and up here database role what this Kevin Scott user can do if he wanted to just read the data write the data or admin this particular database you can go ahead and select all in my case I'm going to select all if you don't have any login you can click on new login screen right here let me make it small new login right here 
and create a new login um, and give uh, appropriate permissions on this particular database so we're gonna go ahead and click next and as you can see that I use um, up here is server this name of the database is performance data warehouse cache directory let me go back let me plug in my computer real quick right now cache directory we will uh, configure it on the collector right now it's null so we're gonna go ahead and if you expand that map login and user this is the user who is going to be admin reader write and grant administrator bulk operation permissions is this user have all the permission on this data warehouse so we're gonna go ahead and click finish and it'll take just a minute and it'll configure our data warehouse this is the configuration needs to be done in order for our collector to basically see this data where uh, um, performance DWH database as a management data warehouse. So this configuration needs to be done, done prior to you can use the collector to uh, specify where this collector is going to upload the data. This is very important. So we're going to go ahead and close. I'm gonna go ahead and refresh and um, if we go in task in next demo we're going to configure our data collection uh, this is uh, again in this demo we're, we configured our management data warehouse so in this uh, particular uh, instance in my case in this video I'm not going to use client uh, SQL mirror as my data collector I want to collect the data on SQL production and put it in this database right here all the data performance related data such as uh, uh, IO read and write and CPU memory usage transaction per second and all that uh, I can add it later you know all the the counters that I wanted to do on this particular instance we can collect the data and I wanted to collect the data on this particular instance and put all the data in management uh, data warehouse which which is performance DWH reside on this particular instance and after that once we are done collecting the data we can run reports against this particular data warehouse database I hope this video helps